you are not, your political appointees at NYCHA will not stick a piece of wood like this up my like your representatives of the New York City Police Department did to Mr. Luima. You got that? That was the stick, Mr. Bloomberg, that was served to Mr. Abner Luima. Remember that, Haitian? Remember? Our, our, the Haitian blood is so foul. We created AIDS and we had to march on the city across the bridge from Brooklyn. This is my mother's death certificate. Okay? And it has my business address and it has my, and it was then corrected to my home address. My mother's death certificate, my domicile was 8909 Street. Here is your own lease. Uh, New York City Housing Authority lease rules and regulations. The highlighted part, use of premises. To use the premises solely as a private dwelling for the tenant and the family and not to carry any business, professional or economic enterprise or any other nature, blah, blah, blah. That's why you see here that my own Haitian fat relatives because of them three sugar plantations that I have worth seven and a half million dollars that I can't go to my country to get got my brother to sign some papers and they used the wrong address and so the Dowd Funeral Home had to fix it. I am what is called a remaining family member okay and a remaining family member is entitled to succeed in the apartment and I did that and when Josephine Russo went to court and lied to Judge Kramer and said I was never on the family composition sheet that's not true here's the proof that's the evidence you got that? That means they're caught dead cold, red-handed, committing the kind of crime that they need to go to jail for. I gotta take a break, now the phone's ringing. Love you, Mayor Bloomberg. Keep up the good work. To even more evidence of the complicity of Human Resources Adult Protective Services Department, they went and conscripted Saint, uh, Visiting Nurse Service when well, conscripted them, and in talking to them, they find out that I lived in Asia for a while, blah, blah, blah. Then they're going to end up bringing some Filipino over here, thinking that's going to induce me into being more cooperative. I won't call my lawyer, Gary Leonardo, and say, I'm not being cooperative. That's because there's a problem here. You're trying to send me into some sort of... Here it is. I, they made me an appointment to go into some kind of drug and alcohol treatment program when I got there here's the woman saying right here referral to mental health clinic she signed it that's because I have a freaking anger management freaking problem dig it with a lot of other ones I just can't seem to disengage from that rape killing pillage special forces airborne ranger the United the great empire of the United States of America's very own suicide Mission bunch of squad, but they taught us to actually go do it <laughs> and come back. Now there's the Ranger Brigade. Okay, you got that? Please, 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 please. It says right here. Okay, I told them I, after the Rangers, I went and became. I went to school to be a behavioral science specialist, worked in the first freedom houses. Behavioral science specialist, United States Army, uh, Army drug and alcohol specialist. Here it is, medical specialist, okay? That's another college degree from Tacoma University. Here's me right here working for Freedom Alcatel, formerly of AT&T. This is me right here with AT&T, went to school. That's my airborne thing. This is a certificate, certificate of appreciation from the United States Olympic team. Okay, and this is my mother's thing right here, right where, right after Pierre Dreis. They went, you going to, do not go to Queens General Hospital. Do not go to Queens General Hospital. He went there, they killed him. She went there, they kidnapped her, sent her to a Jewish nursing home. And if it wasn't for that wonderful Jewish lady who adopted me, as I jacked off, just like Miss Elizabeth Lorenberg of the Madison Avenue Lorenberg that adopted me when my mother was her French maid. I'd have been finished. This is me with Freedom Alcatel. What's this one? Phil Dreis, top sales rep of, in revenue uh, 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 for the region. Right here, okay? I went to Catholic boarding schools, okay? 
Honorable Discharge. Another one, Honorable Discharge. And this is my mommy. This is my mommy. And guess what she taught me? If you think education is expensive, try ignorance. That's Jocelyn uh, Armand uh, de la Tour. That's the former wife of Ambassador de la Tour. Here, here this is. The brother seen um, how I was taking care of my mother. He brought me into the lodge, Ezekiel Lodge number 5, Freemasons. And this is my idol right here. And guess what he said? The chickens are coming home to roost. And that's no dare going joke. And let me see if I got some. Let me see if I got some. Dr. Aperoff at your college. I gave him an award because he snatched me out of that psych, uh, undergraduate psych program, told me to go into marketing and corporate sales. Do you guys think I did well? Because this is Dr. Tube the Crusader. The newest superhero of the 21st century looking to dethrone the number one preventable health hazard in our great empire by the year 2015 with the Aqua Tube Plus. It's patented and it has FDA certification for the um, active ingredients. Okay, and this is the only, the only war unit breath tester that can be calibrated. I sell the franchises. Please allow me to live in peace and make money. So that I can leave the projects. I'm not Project. Project. You can't not say you don't know about this because when I went to the public advocate's office, and here's the stamp right here, okay? Two copy of original, and here's the stamp where I got a stamp at the public advocate's office. I took the videotapes that your um, inspector general's office had when I took her uh, her office those videotapes, and that's notarized two copy of the original. They sent the referral to the office of the Attorney General of New York State. But it was during the time of the elections. NYCHA should be under investigation for civil rights violations. What is the epilogue of the story? I'm about to tell you in a minute. This is the carrot, Mr. Bloomberg. I'm showing you why legally I should succeed in this apartment. I hope it's palatable to you, sir. I'm not angry. I'm not anything anymore. Right? Honorable Mr. Bloomberg, this right here is something you'll find very interesting. I'll read it for you. I have on this day conferred, this is from Gary DiLeonardo's letterhead. I have this day conferred with Richard Newmark of New York City Housing Authority, who informed me that the computer system of NYCHA has no record of the filing of a notice of claim by Philippe E. Dreyfer to yours, Gary DiLeonardo. And what's this? What is this? In the matter of the claim of Philip E. Dreis, Aqua Tube USA Inc., estate of Walter Great Dreis et al. To NYCHA, New York City, of the state of New York. New, uh, New York City APS, NYPD, Fox 5 Television Network, and Stu Billet Productions. It's a pro se action by Philip Ed Edward Dreis. Is that the stamp? Does that look real to you? How come they don't have it? How come they don't have it? The plot thickens, sir. The plot thickens. Let's go to the next step. Veterans Administration. I am a disabled veteran living on little to nothing. Last year it was 881. This year it's 910. This is what I did in the army. That's reforged to Germany 1976. 1975, Special Forces Airborne Rendered Drush. See that beret, that black beret? Until everybody in the army could wear it and they changed the Rangers to the brown? That's the Airborne Ranger cook. <laughs> It's 8 o'clock at night. I'm at Highland Care, nursing home. 
I came to say goodbye to Mrs. Green because by the time they figure out how I did all this videotaping, uh, people being neglected, warehoused in here, I'll never be let like, back in here. But if you die before I do, tell God not to forgive Thomas and Meeks, not to forgive New York State Senator Huntley, not to forgive New York State Senator Malcolm Smith. Vivian Cook has cancer. She's going to die real soon, five, three, four, five years, whatever it is. She shouldn't. Li she should live very long, so she can suffer a long time. New York State, uh, uh, New York City Councilman Leroy Comrie, he runs her for an abomination. This is Sunday night, eight o'clock at night, and these are the people. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. And she's right there. That's Mrs. Green. Hooked up to a machine. Being fed. These liquid supplements. And this is the warehousing of these old people. For $140,000 a year. I can't. Mrs. Green. The reason why my life got destroyed was because I saved your life. I protected you about the $20,848,000 theft. By Hosea Mitchell, who lives in apartment 10K at Shelton House, New York City Housing Authority. Somebody help me out here, man. My life's been destroyed, everything. You hear these people yelling in here? This is the woman that was thought to be dead. She's not dead. She's not dead. She's right here. <laughs> She's right here at Highland Care, and that's her roommate, okay? She is not dead. Mrs. Green did not die. I've been coming here for years. I kept a secret. I knew all this. I told everybody where she was, but they covered it up. The district attorney's office, Creedmoor Psychiatric, Human Resource Administration, Adult Protective Services. Everybody covered this up. And the district attorney knows because I, I charmed Bianca into giving her the thing to go to my website and the DA calling me, wanting me to come in there so they can arrest me and abuse me. Not going to happen. They come and get me, they can come and get me. But you better have a search warrant, you better have an arrest warrant. That's all I know. This is the victim of a Nazi copycat crime that Mayor Michael R. Bloomberg covered up. What can I tell you? This is what they look like when they're in a nursing home, dying. And they're just an economy being warehoused because they put them out of their house in public housing so they can harvest the apartments and they dump them in a nursing home. And when they go to the hospital visiting nurse service, social workers get money when they refer them to certain nursing homes. Go ahead. He can vomit and choke on his own puke. He vomits, he chokes, and dies on his own puke. That's what I'm talking about. He vomits and chokes on his own puke. When's that going to happen? Go ahead. Go ahead. That's what I expose in order to get people to do their damn job. That's what I expose in order to get people to do their damn job. I'll never see these people again in life because I am the housing worker.